Delhi awaits its first of artificial rate cloud seeding that was conducted by IIT professionals. People had so much expectation. But despite the hype and crores spent, but it did not result in rain. Now, but even after the four-hour deadline, no artificial rain was reported in Delhi. So it is a little bit of a. I'm sure it's a bit of a letdown that spend the public money and it has wasted, in fact, the public money. The tragic accidents that you're seeing isn't because of reckless driving. It's because of thick smog. The visibility goes to near zero levels causing deadly collisions. This isn't a rare event. It happens in every winter in Delhi. Now forget about traffic. Imagine 34 million people inhaling this toxic air every single day. Cardiovascular diseases, respiratory issues, strokes, and even type 2 diabetes is caused by this pollution in Delhi. With a budget of 3.2 crores, the Delhi government in collaboration with IIT Kanpur is launching a pilot project that covers over 100 square kilometers targeting the outskirts of Delhi to produce artificial rain, which is expected to reduce air pollution. The big question is, is it really worth it? Will the artificial rain affect us? Is the government utilizing the tax funds properly? Let's break it down. The air pollution in Delhi is mostly because of its friendly neighborhood states Punjab and Haryana. This comes from farmers setting fire to rice stubble to quickly clear their fields in these states. The smoke forms giant clouds of pollution and thanks to the Himalayan barrier, the smog drifts straight into Delhi, getting trapped and choking the city. In order to overcome this problem, Delhi government is relying on rain. So it's like spraying water to this smoggy tank. You can see the air particles settling down here, compared to the other one. When we spray water, the tiny water droplets collide with lighter dust and smoke particles. These particles stick to the droplets, causing them to merge and become heavier. As a result, the droplets fall to the ground due to gravity, carrying the pollutants along with them. This process helps to settle airborne particles, making the air appear clearer. This is the same reason why the air feels fresh after a natural rainfall. The rainwater collects the dust and pollutants and cleanses the air as it falls to the ground. Now, to mimic this natural cleansing process, the government is planning to trigger artificial rain through cloud seeding. Rain in nature begins when water vapor rises from the ground. When it reaches higher altitudes, the cooler temperatures cause the vapor to condense. But condensation doesn't happen in midair. The vapor needs a surface to attach onto, like dust or smoke particles. Once that happens, the tiny droplets group together to form a cloud. However, having a cloud isn't just enough. For rain to fall, these tiny droplets must merge together to become larger droplets. Once they get heavy enough, gravity will pull them down. Even though clouds contain super cool water droplets, they often don't get large enough and fall as rain. Instead, they drift away or dissipate when air conditions are not favorable. That's why special methods like cloud seeding comes in. In cloud seeding, planes release chemicals like silver iodide into existing clouds, especially around thunderstorm regions. These particles act as nuclei that help water droplets join faster as it has a similar hexagonal structure to ice. This makes supercooled water to bond with it. In simple terms, just like how a magnet attracts iron particles, these silver iodide particles attract tiny supercooled water droplets together to form a a bigger water droplet. So if this happens within 20 minutes, they will grow large enough to fall as rain. But cloud seeding doesn't produce new clouds. Instead, they enhance existing ones to produce rain. That's why we can't use cloud seeding in clear blue sky and in arid deserts like Rajasthan. Cloud seeding isn't new. It's been there since the 1940s. They've been using materials like dry ice, salts, potassium iodide, sodium chloride, and silver iodide. Amongst these, silver iodide has been most effective because it absorbs more moisture, helping the precipitation happen faster. Even in states like Karnataka, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, and few other states, they have used cloud seeding to overcome drought. However, Delhi is the first state in India where they have used cloud seeding to specifically overcome pollution. But the real question is, 
Is the juice worth the squeeze? That's where the debate starts. IIT Kanpur had proposed this method earlier to the Central Pollution Control Board, but it was rejected. It was rejected saying that in North Indian states, there will be insufficient moisture and they will have to rely on pre-existing clouds. Even if artificial rain is triggered, the relief would be temporary, maybe for a week, then the AQI levels will rise again. Not just that, studies show that overuse of cloud seeding may cause silver iodide to accumulate in soil and water. The process is also costly. For cloud seeding over 1300 square kilometers of Delhi, it would cost around 13 crores. So in short, it's like applying zandu balm for your headache. It would give you temporary relief. But unless and until you eradicate the real issue, the headache is gonna continue. So if you liked our video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want more such science videos, subscribe Chitty Global.